Alright, half a mile. This is like way cool. Um, I'm walking through right now. Over there and behind me is a big hill. And this used to be all landfill. I remember all you'd see was garbage and stink and seagulls. And uh, really, what a beautiful job. But we're gonna see if we can get some heron. So here's a, a map of the park. Here's the pier here. So it's a little bit of a walk, keeps people away. Here's the rod. It says it's about a half a mile, a little more. A little more. Okay, uh, so we're here at uh, Shirley Krishholm State Park looking for heron. And uh, nice little walk, actually went really quick. And uh, just taking a look around now, there's the pier itself. All right, we made it here. This is Penn Pier. I've never been here. And uh, looking for Heron. You can see the pier, it's kind of like a, a triangle that juts out, almost like a runway. And uh, over here at Shirley Griffholm State Park, looking for Heron. Now I'm just gonna hit different points on the pier, see if we get anything, see if I see any surface activity. Water's dropped out a little, not all the way. We got some tide to drop, so that's good. I'm going to fish until just before dark. One time I was here, they had to, they were looking for me. They had to chase me out. They wanted to go home, so pay attention to the park. And, but uh, I'm going to walk about and see what this is all about. Sometimes, sometimes you just say to yourself, "Why didn't I do this more often last year?" I just got next year. And I know this heron here. Like I said, I had him to the right of me. I've had Heron to the left of me, a few miles left and right, so they just got to be here. But their bulkhead is a little bit of a challenge. The first challenge is going to be getting a Heron with a few casts, and they certainly are not going to be thick right now. So I would have caught one. I know they're around, kind of left and right of here. See what I mean? Bounce those hair enough if we get any. I see those here. We'll see. Take a few casts. Fish until just before dark. Get chased out. Got a good rip here. Until dark. Before dark. Yeah, we got one. Right in the rip. Been slow, got those big hooks on. And like I said, this is going to be the challenge, getting them up over this bulkhead. Here comes now. I'm going to hold my rod out. One for sure. Nice one. Wow, very cool. My bucket over there. Right over. That's a nice size herring too. When they're around, they're around. I just want to get one more. Very cool. So cool here, you can really see almost the whole, most of the bay, um, Jamaica Bay. And you've got the North Channel Bridge over there. The creeks there, I think it's Swift, Fresh, Hendrix. And you got the, I think the Silver Hole somewhere over there, and Pumpkin Patch. And there's Canarsie Island. Uh, oh, yeah, and then you have the, can you see? go down there is the cross bay bridge down there and you come across that's Canarsie Island and you have this Canarsie itself right over there just a few few casts away Marine Parkway Bridge is down there Floyd Bennett Fields down there and uh, hopefully we'll have some heron over here Rockaway over there those buildings 
I get a full panoramic view of the bay over here. There's a nice rip over here. If there's any herons, they'll be here. They're around. To what degree, I don't know. But there's a nice rip. Got to be some kind of sandbar and then currents running out. So I think this is a good place where we're going to hang. We're going to get them. So I've just been uh, fan casting. And the snags here, so far we've been lucky, which is great. Um, not many snags so far, but I am expecting to get snagged up at some point. All right, real quick, the rig we'll be using is the one I've been using. It's the Sabiki, and uh, I got caught up the other day, so I lost one. But it's just a standard Sabiki rig, two ounce sinker, five or six Sabiki drops. That's about a size four to about a size six hook and a flasher. All right. Wow, I think we got more than one here. I think we got them. See in the end, I... Oh wow, just big heron, big heron. It's down there. I'm gonna take another cast. Big heron. Like a nice dinner, dinner size heron. The bucket's down there. Okay. I'm take the gas and then run over and get it. See if there's a few more in here. I shift it over. Maybe they'll be hanging in here. It's barely close in. They're over here in Shirley Grishholm, if that's how you say it. I don't even know know how state park in brooklyn new york over on penn's pier heron fishing we got the whole penn pier to ourselves it's a really nice pier you just have that that bulkhead up down there and actually you probably get sheep shed up here i bet definitely blackfish but you gotta gear up right with the rods um, you're gonna have to use some stout tackle oh Okay, so you're closing now? All right. All right. I am going to be getting out of here. They're closing. But we had a couple heron and uh, really good stuff. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak in a few more casts and uh, maybe we'll get one. All right. But uh, thanks for watching uh, over here in Shirley Grish Home State Park. In, uh, Brooklyn, New York, on Penn Pier, and uh, one reason why I don't uh, fish here too much is cause of that. I said that one time they ripped, they had to dig me out. I was back in the creek and whatnot. But you can, uh, yeah. But I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's a really fun out. And I think we get a bunch more, but we gotta go way before dark. Yeah. We'll do a little fishing out there. That chasing me out. <laughs> <laughs>